Hello, this is P6U with a brand new demo disc. Uh, I've decided to go with some of the low number demos and fill in some gaps that we have left. Uh, this is your demo 12. And it has something really good on it. I've uh, checked on the disc cover. You know, the cover for the disc is... The, the artwork for the cover of the disc is... None other than... Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, and since this was released in 1996, it's the first game. And... There we go, that's Crash Bandicoot right there in front of us, with this interface as well. It has also Formula 1, Die Hard Trilogy, Broken Sword, and Super Sonic Racers. Super shitty racers, as I think somebody commented on that on a video, might have been Empu Aronen. You know, I did that on a previous demo, I don't know which one. It wasn't really that great of a game, it was pretty shitty. So, uh, nothing else to do but just start. Crash Bandicoot, here we go. And I don't know if you know, but Crash Bandicoot 1 is my favorite Crash game of all time. I've only really played Naughty Dog 4 games, you know, the 4 Naughty Dog games on PlayStation 1. I've also played some Crash Bash on the demo, and I, I actually have the full game, the Japanese version, DM sent me that. Thank you, man. But, you know, the first game is just, it does everything right, I think. Not that the other games are bad, no way. It's just that... I've grown to like the first one more, you know, because it's more challenging, and I think the level design is actually better in this game. It's more creative, I mean, this is like the first outing, and it doesn't really have that annoying backtracking. It does have some backtracking, of course. It, would have been, it wouldn't have been crashed without backtracking, you know, but it's still, it still holds up as my favorite, I think. I don't know really why, it's just, I like the simplicity and I like the challenge of it. The other games are really good. My least favorite one has to be the third one. It was my favorite before, but now I've grown to like this one more. And the second one is just right there in the middle. I don't really count Crash Team Racing when I compare Crash games. It's, it's a great game, but it, since it isn't the same genre, it's kind of hard to compare against these other three, you know. But enough about that. Uh, to yeah, something about this. This isn't recording. This isn't recorded in that great of advance. You know what? This is actually recorded on. Oh whoa, that was good. This is actually recorded on the Sunday when it's going up. Yeah, wrap your head around that. I <laughs> know that's not. Ooh, what the hell am I doing? I don't know. That's not usually something I do because I usually record in like a couple of days in advance just to be able to put it out. And have it scheduled to like go live during noon on the Sunday or something like that. But I just uh, <laughs> you know the main reason for doing that is because I've been busy playing PlayStation 4 and Battlefield 4. Yeah, and <laughs> I have to say it's that good. I mean it's whoa. It feels like truly next gen. I have to say it's incredible. You have to install. Um, no, wait. I've only played like multiplayer on Battlefield 4 because when you inserted the disc, it said like, "Oh, you have to install." Oh, we will end with six. No, 70. Okay. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> we will. You have to install um, the game on the hard drive, and I was surprised by how fast that actually was because as soon as I inserted the disc, it said like, uh, "Single player ready." And then I said, okay, I'll play single player, see how far I will get. And I got halfway through the first mission or something like that. And then it said, multiplayer ready to launch up in the corner. I was like, whoa, that's cool. That was really fast. So I just finished playing that mission and I haven't played single player since then. Busy playing multiplayer. And I've, I'm currently at level 45. And I've played for around 36 hours. You know, there's like a 100 XP boost. Uh, in like almost a week, maybe it was a week, you know, from 29th of uh, November to the 5th, yeah, 5th of December, there was 100 XP boost, and I played like crazy then, but uh, yeah, 36 hours, that's my in-game time for multiplayer only so far, in about 9 days. I can't like divide that in my head, it's, not, it's a really basic formula I know, but... I uh, I can't really. I'm not good at math, so that's why <laughs> I suck at it. But here we go. Yeah, Formula One. This is '96, of course. Since the demo came out in '96, this was also featured on winter releases '96, autumn Christmas releases '96, if I'm not mistaken. 
I could be, but I'm pretty sure it was. Also, something cool about this is that it was made by Bizarre Creations, more famous for developing the Project Gotham Racing series on the Xbox. I don't know what happened to that series lately, I know. Was the third one a launch title for the Xbox 360, if I'm not mistaken? I think it was. I remember seeing a commercial that I was like, whoa, this game was awesome. I was like, oh, I want to get a 360, but uh, I never got it. You know, mainly because RROD. I don't want that crap. And I have to say, the 360 controllers are very comfortable. It's just that they look very, very, very childish. You know, with the white appearance, you know, the white plastic and the really colorful buttons. It looks like some kind of kindergarten toy. That's just my opinion, but I think it does. This is, like, oh, this is my first controller, you know, some kind of you know, my first playset, my first kitchen, or something like that. My first controller inside like Xbox 360 controller with the colorful buttons and the horrible D pad. I think they just fixed that to the Xbox One. Uh, I don't think the controller looks as comfortable anymore. It kind of looks more, uh, let's say, uh, sharp. I don't know, that's just the word that comes to mind. It looks like it has more edges and not as smooth as the 360 one. But it still has a less colorful setup on the button, so that's pretty good. I guess. But, you know, speaking of controllers, the PlayStation 4, since I said I get, I got one, you know, the PlayStation 4, DualShock 4, is amazing, I have to say. Going back to playing, I'm playing with on my PS3 right now, and I'm using a DualShock 3, and it, it's a night and day difference. I mean, the PlayStation 4 controller is so awesome, it's crazy, it's 100% better than the DualShock 3, I have to say. And I, I didn't really have any problems with the DualShock 3 before, you know, the only thing I didn't really like was the deep... No, wait, the, the R2 and L2 buttons, you know, the so-called triggers. I said it's so-called because they aren't really triggers, they're more just like lame-ass buttons. But... The PlayStation 3, 4 does everything right with the controller. It's it's amazing, I have to say. The sticks are really, really awesome. They're really good. They're very responsive. What the hell happened now? Why did everybody line up like that? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, sixth place so far. That's pretty good. I hope we can finish in that. Or better. It'd be cool. Uh, there's a time limit down there, as you see. Oh, crap. Time extended. Okay, I don't know how long we will play. I have no idea. I know you can run out of fuel on this. Have this. That, that's pretty weird, but I know you can. I don't really know why, but you can. Let's see, we extend our time to 90, 95. Uh, to 99 before. Oh, uh, yeah, see, low fuel. You are the fuel. Oh, I don't know. Uh, well. Or did we get more fuel now? Because it disappeared from the screen. The fourth place. Okay, we can take three. Oh, this is really arcadey right here. No, what? Low fuel again? What? Okay, free third place. Yeah, pretty neat. What was I talking about? PlayStation Four controller. Awesome. Maybe that's it. And maybe you don't need to say anything else. Awesome. That describes everything. For everything from the triggers to oh yeah. Okay, okay. The only thing that sucks about the PlayStation Four DualShock Four is the battery time. It's dreadful. It's absolutely horrible. I have to like if. Say I start playing like in the morning around 10 or something, and then I finish, you know, in the evening around 11. Uh, most likely the battery will be drained, and I don't, I haven't found any, like setting that you can turn off the vibration. What the hell? Why did it stop like that? What's going on here? Oh, I don't know why they do that. Some AI problems, I guess. Maybe that's why it's a demo. Second place, but yeah, the battery life is really horrible, and I haven't found a way to turn off the vibration function. And to be honest, I don't really like the vibration function. I turn it off on my DualShock 3 whenever I play, or it's always turned off to improve battery life. And you know, second place, yeah, not too bad, I have to say. Sure, projects to continue, and that was Formula One 96. Or very arcadey commentary. Murray Walker. I didn't hear any commentary at all, but uh, sure, in the full game, I guess. 35 drivers, 13 teams. Race a real F1 season, yeah. F wait, f was it 35 drivers and 13 teams? How the hell did they divide that? I don't know. Arcade, fast, frantic, and racing Grand Prix F1 simulation. 
3D four wheel dynamic char damage, tire wear, fuel downforce, driver assistance. Whoa. Wet or dry. 30 frames per second NTSC, 25 frames per second PAL. Alright. That's kind of nothing compared to like Battlefield 4 60 FPS PS4 graphics. It's whoa. It's, pre <laughs> it's pretty damn impressive, I have to say. Whoa, Nedcon and Mad Cats. I didn't know Mad Cats was around back in this day. Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, Overdrive. Okay. Uh, Bizarre Creations Productions, yeah. I wonder if they're still around. Whatever happened to Project Gotham Racing? I know. I think they made a fourth one and nothing after that. Maybe that's all they focus on live right now is Forza on the Xbox. I don't know. Project Gotham Racing saw it looked pretty cool to me. I mean, you could ride like motorcycles in that and shit. That was pretty neat. But I don't know why uh, it's not around anymore. Maybe it didn't perform as well as they'd hoped, but I have no idea. Alright, Die Hard Trilogy. Played this a couple times before as a rail shooter. As you may know, I'm not really a fan of rail shooters, but this one wasn't too bad, I have to say. It was pretty funny, maybe because it was like, you know, kind of lighthearted. It, it felt lighthearted. I don't know if it is supposed to be that since it's Die Hard. I mean, Die Hard isn't the most serious movie trilogy. Or wait, there's five ones now, right? You know, it's kind of lighthearted action, I have to say. It's got some serious moments, sure, but it's Die Hard. It's kind of like a comedy, I have to say. Oh uh, yeah, Fox Interactive really sped up there. I don't know why. I have no idea. Maybe we should ask them. Fox Interactive. Probe Entertainment. Yeah, what? A okay, what happened to those days? Nobody knows. Not even the dudes that work there. It's an illusion. Entire life. Fake. No, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Diatrology from Fox Interactive. Free explosive adventures on one desk. Take aim at... Okay, I didn't finish. Fuck you, then. Die Hard 2, Die Harder, play demo. There we go, that's how we start. I don't know, fake exit shoot. Could be wrong. Yes. Oh. Okay. I fired a rocket or something. Okay, where are the bad guys? Okay, Square is firing that rocket and I blew up a taxi and nobody cared. Whoa. Whoa. Get out of my way! Okay, I'm using a D-pad because this stick doesn't work because when this came out, the stick wasn't invented. Not on the PlayStation controller, at least. DualShock wasn't out yet. Or, not the DualShock, I should say the analog controller because that came out in 97. You know, the one with a rumble and the longer handles. And, uh, what do you say? Wait, how do you reload? Circle, it seems like. Maybe. I don't know, I could be wrong, but it, it uh, seemed to do the trick. Why do all these bastards keep going in the way? Why does he, like, stand on his knees and just, you know... Oh, want that. There we go. MP5, let's kick some ass. Tracker. Sure, I don't know what that does, but... It sounds cool. Health, yeah, sure. I like they shoot everything and you like get it. Maybe uh, that's the only thing they could do because you can actually move on your own. So, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Whoa! Okay, I shot a civilian. That wasn't really good. It's kind of hard to, uh, you know. Uh, play this kind of game without the light gun. Whoa. How the hell was I supposed to grab the shield? I didn't know it was there, so... Okay, there we go. I got it. That's why I really don't like rail shooters, because there's so much stuff you can miss that you, like, have to replay the entire level to get another chance at getting. Um, and I, ha I don't really like games where you can't move around on your own. I prefer games where you like are able to walk back and forth, you know, as you wish. But to each their own, I guess. Yeah, oh, okay, you didn't reload with. How do you reload? Then? I don't know. I pressed some button, but I don't know which one I pressed. Whoa! 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 
Okay, I pressed L2 and it seemed to do the trick. Okay, I'm trying to shoot... What? what? There we go. Dual will. Explosive shotgun. Whoa, that's uh... Uh, yeah, that's pretty overpowered right there. I do have some grenades as well. I think he used that with circle. And the rockets with square. I don't know how he fires the rockets. I have no idea, but somehow he does. Whoa. Okay, that, there we go. That sure killed him. I hope. I don't know what the tracker does. I have no idea. Okay, I want to get that health. Can't. There we go. Okay, L2 seems to uh, reload, actually. No, oh, crap, I missed one. Okay, so now where to? Where are you leading us? In here? No? There's nothing there. Okay, you're... Sure, working in a weird path right now, buddy boy. There seems to be something down there. There we go, that's where they are. At least one dude. Yeah. Okay, R2 and L2 reloads. Oh, whoa. Yeah, MP5, yeah. Rapid fire. Why are so many civilians, like, walking in place like that? That's retarded. Why do they do that? I have no idea. Maybe they want to get shot or something. Wouldn't it be better to just stay in place? I mean, I'm here to sort this mess out. And you're like, nope, I want to run in front of you. Dude wearing, uh... Tank top and rifles and shit, grenades, firing rockets with his arms, like this. I mean, who the hell lost that? Like throwing a grenade? Okay, that was too close. There we go. I mean, firing a firing a grenade, I can understand, but like throwing a rocket like that, uh, that doesn't really make any sense, does it now? Okay. Uh. I think I'll actually be able to beat the level. Okay. Oh, whoa. Sorry, dude. I think I'll be able to beat the level. I don't know if I've done that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You threw a knife at us. You want an explosive shotgun? Yeah. Should have been more splash damage on that. I guess there is some splash damage. But... Whoa. <laughs> that talk about splash damage right there. Okay, time is out, pretty soon. Okay, time uh, ran out. I wonder if there's like an end to the level? Game over, yeah, but uh, sh okay. So you have to be really fast as well. It seems like maybe just a demo or something. Maybe I sucked horrible at that game, but I have no idea. Ninety-two percent. Okay, so it must have been to, uh, towards the end there. Yippee ki yay! This is like the name input screen, and uh, I guess that's good. Yippee ki yay! I don't know uh, what I just spelled. Okay, uh, Yolmnipop. Or something. Got the high score at least. Uh, well, it's kind of hard not to get a high score there, but sure. <laughs> Alright, that was Die Hard Trilogy. And we have two things left on the demo. It's Super Shitty Racers and uh, Broken Sword. And for a fact, I know that Broken Sword is not playable. It's a video. Just to, uh, you know, sort that out from the beginning. So you don't have to expect anything else. It's a video. I know. It's because it says on the disc's cover. It's a rolling demo. Highly acclaimed lure of really rolling. It's more like a video. I have to say. Sky comes a brand new adventure of epic proportions. Broken Sword, the Shadow of the Templars. Whoa! I think I've seen this before. I'm not sure. 
I recognize him. Vacation uh, in Paris on Whittingly Whisk's young American George Stobart away on a mysterious and compelling escapade, which could change the fate of man. As George, you are thrown into the arms of intrigue as you uncover a sinister collusion which could turn the world upside down. Embark upon a trailblazing exploration across Europe and the Middle East, where the people you meet leave riddles around you. Who are the new breed of savage warriors? Who were the Templar Knights? This is clandestine. This is arcane. This is broken sword. The Shadow of the Templars. Yay. Alright, so not really that much gameplay, but it's a pretty cool trailer, I guess. Um, I think it's a point-and-click game that I know, but I think it's better on the PC than PlayStation. If it's available, I think it is available for PC as well. So if you're thinking about getting this, I should say get it for a PC, because the gameplay is bound to be better. I mean, point-and-click games... Okay, that's, I've seen that before sometimes, that's hostile, or maybe not hostile, but that's, you know, you must reset your PlayStation or else we're gonna kick your ass. Fuck you. Since this is the last game, I hope we don't, it doesn't really matter if we do or not, I guess. But what else? Uh, what was I saying before? Okay, uh, I don't know if I've seen this loading screen or this menu screen before, I don't remember that. One player, uh, oh, okay. Oh, I can play all of them. Uh, go Lucy, I guess. Metro Manager, Finery, Metro Manager. Okay, I have played, I, I'm, maybe I haven't? Yeah, I've played this before. You didn't get to choose a character the last time, though. Okay. I play that ugly... No, yeah, that's right, you go forward with triangle. Oh, okay, I should remember that. That's this this game. Um, it's the same level, but... This was the second level on the previous demo, I think. You know, the second choosing. I mean, you could choose two levels back then as well. But I think the first one was that, like... We had to wait for lily pad and shit, and you know the computer just drove off into the water constantly. And this level design isn't really that good because you can like take shortcuts wherever you want. Almost it seems like. Uh, whoa, am I in fifth place? That's not good, is it? No, no, no. Oh. Ooh, I thought I was gonna have to start. A oh, you know, do an entire level over again. That was not the case. Seven, six, oh crap, this is going shitty right here. Fifth place. Okay, I thought I was doing good in the beginning there, but uh, that's not the case at all. Whoa. Imagine playing full price for this game. I think I said that before as well when I played the previous time. Fifth place, damn. That's not good, is it now? Since that level is so short, we'll see if we can do the other one as well. S new game. I wonder if we can change character as well. That was a lame-ass car we drove right there. Yeah, we can. Okay, uh... Play. Come on, play. We'll go Sloth and Martha. <laughs> right then. Refinery Racers. I think it might not be the same one as before, but... You know, the same level as on the previous... No, it's not. The hell am I racing on something kind of... Sled. Okay, everybody's got a sled. Alright. Uh, yeah, this kind of looks fitting since it's snowy and it's winter, but you know what? The winter snow just. <laughs> Wait. Snow started falling. You know, whoa. Okay, I jumped. But there was like a shitload of snow falling, you know, Friday to Saturday here in Sweden as well. Or at least. So that's pretty neat. Finally, we have some winter here. You know, since it's been December for a week now, and now we finally get some snow. That's awesome, because, you know what, I love snow. Regardless of what people might think, you know, or what people might say. You know, some people are like, oh, I hate winter, it's snow, it's cold. But truth is, 
I can say the same about summer. I mean, summer it's like warm and sweaty and sticky and annoying. Winter is like cool, refreshing, and you know, peaceful. Uh, not a not a lot of shit going around outside. You know, it's quiet and nice. I like it. <clears throat> I love me some quiet time. Now and then. I mean, summer is cool. I mean, you appreciate it for like a month, and then you're like tired of it. That's me. I don't know if you are the same, but. I really prefer winter and cold over summer and warm, to say. But hey, that's just me. But I mean, I'd rather live in, say, like Alaska than li live in, like, Miami or something. Hell no, I couldn't stand that. It would, like, go crazy, like, really, really, really fast. I wouldn't mind living in, like, Anchorage or something. That looks awesome. Or it sounds awesome. Okay, this, uh... We're gonna get a fourth place, right? Or third? Wait, maybe we can. Ooh, we're gonna score second place here? Yeah! Beastie. Okay, so, we're done with the demo. Almost. We just have to exit this and see if anything works, or if we have to reset. If we can end on a black train. That would be pretty neat. Okay, so we'll take. Start select. I don't know if it can't start there, as you know, race the same course. Quit. Is it gonna freeze like this? Oh, it seems like it. It froze on this. All right. Uh, yeah, it froze here. All right. So <laughs> this was your demo twelve. I'll record some more demos right away and post this as fast as possible today on Sunday. Yeah. Record on the same day as it's going up. You don't see that a lot, do you now? But whatever, stay tuned for all things PlayStation. Hope you enjoyed this video. So, uh, well, peace it. But, <laughs> no, okay, that's the wrong order. Okay, here's how we do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for all things PlayStation. But for now, P6U, going offline. That's how you say it. Yeah, it wasn't too hard, right? Night.